Hello everybody, in this video I am going to show you how do I fix the problem of my vision box program cannot share the photo in between host and guest machine. But before we get in there, what I got here in my system is Ubuntu 15.10. This is the server version that I installed a KDE desktop environment on it. And what my problem is, I just installed Ubuntu 16.04 on my vision box after I set up the system that I want to use in my real system. So I want to export my .iso image files to test on the other machine. But the problem I got is I am totally cannot share my folder between host and the guest machine. Even I did try so hard to find a way to fix this but my hope is hopeless. So I just thinking with myself that maybe if I go back to the old versions of Vision Box, it will work again. And what I did is I removed the Vision Box 5.0 versions and install the older version is 4.3 back again. Then I can make this work. Well, this video is totally crap if you uh, if your Vision Box program is working very well and you can share the folders between your uh, your host machine and your guest machine already. So please quit the video right now. I don't want to waste your time on this ridiculous video. For anyone else, let's move on. As you can see, I download the older version of Vision Box program, which is 4.3 version, to my desktop by now. But if we run the, the install command now, that will leave us an error because we already have the version 5.0 in the store. So we have to remove the 5.0 version out from our system first. What I have to do is open up the terminal program. As you maybe know, if you're going to make a change of your system on the Linux, you must have a root permission. And and to use the root command, I type in sudo bash, hit enter, then type in the root password, hit enter. Now the command to remove the vision box is app get po vision box that star, then hit enter. It will ask for the confirm. Just type Y, hit enter. Wait for a moment. Now our vision box 5.0 is removed. Now I type in cd to slash desktop to where I download the file, remember? And I type ls to list the contents in this directory. Our program is vision box 4.3 as you can see. The command I run is dpkg that I follow by the name of the package that I need to install. Then hit enter. But it seems to be we got some error here. It's saying that vision box 4.3 is depend on some package called libvpx1 which is not installed so to fix the problem here we have to download the libvpx1 from the internet then install it if you're facing the same problem as i have and you cannot download the file please feel free to email me as the email show on the screen down below now I assume that you already download the two of dot dev file on your desktop and now we're good to go. In your terminal program type in dpkg-i followed by the package name like the command that I show on the screen then hit enter. You have to do it one by one in a time. So you will now see your version bar 4.3 is already installed on your system. After you have installed Vision Box 4.3 and run the program, you will see the previous Vision system that we have here. As you see, I got three systems, but the system that I want is UB16 that I already set up and ready to test in another machine or to burn the ISO image file onto the DVD. And I can't do this if my Vision Box could not share the file in between host and guest. So the next thing to do is I have to install Vision Box Get Edition. But if you take a look at the launcher bar here, we have the 5.0 versions of Get Edition installed. So we have to remove them first just by right click and then select Reject. Then click on the Device tab, select Insert Get Edition CD Image, click OK. Type in the root password, click Authenticate, and wait until the script is done. Then hit Enter to exit. Now open up the terminal program then type sudo bash hit enter type password hit enter then type add user followed by the username in my case is Farouk Vbox SF will be the following then hit enter this screen will show will telling that the user Farouk is already in Vbox SF this is good now I type in shutdown command we still need to set up something more
Now at the vision box manager window, I scroll down to the share folder and remove the prepared folder because I need to create new one. In the file browser program, I create the new folder name vbox underscore share in my home directory. Then I copy some file in there to test. Now back to the vision box manager window again. I select the folder that I have created then click OK. Now let's boot the system up. Once the system boot up, you see our guest edition is now 4.3 version. And if I open the file browser program, dive into media folder, I will now see the folder name sf underscore vbox underscore share. This means now we can share file between host and guest machine easily. I copy the .iso image file into the share folder. Now I want to test if my ISO image file that I back up from my Ubuntu 16.04 is really working. Now I open up the Vision Box window manager to create the new Vision machine and I will install the system that I back up from my previous machine to test. What I'm doing here is really nothing more than just create the new Vision machine system and install from my backup ISO image file that I create the earlier time. At the new installation window, we just have to run the setup normally, like we do new installation system. As you probably know, that I am Thai, so all of my setup will be based on my local Thailand. Once the installation complete, we need to restart the system to begin using it. You maybe see the weird window like this show during the boost process. That's okay. It's working anyway. So it will not cause me any problem at all when I'm on the testing this. You can see I got all the program that I need to use it. So now I'm a happy person. Well, what else do you think I have to do? When you got all those power in your hand of doing anything with your OS system, to me, I have enough. I hope this video will help you if you are in the same issue or same situation that I got here. Please feel free to email me if you stuck in any parts of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.